the Mod X Gen 3 stock. Let's check it out. take a look at the AB Arms Mod X Gen 3 stock chassis for the Remington 700. This is a really modular system that is fully adjustable and can really just adapt itself to you as an individual shooter. This was originally in a Hogue Overmold stock which they're, they're comfortable and they're nice but uh, they're limited. Getting a nice chassis really helps you to kind of hone in on that accuracy. I did a review on the installation of this stock a few months ago. So just recently we've taken the Mod X back out to the range. And guys, I'm telling you, if you ever put a really solid chassis on a bolt action rifle, uh, there's nothing like it. The ergonomics, the way it sits and feels, you can be really comfortable. So you can concentrate on that trigger finger. AB Arm stands for American Built Arms. Everything on this rifle is made right here in America by veterans. So we're going to take a look at all the different features of this stock system and see if it's right for you. Now this stock definitely looks great on this rifle. Uh, it really just completely changes everything. And it goes from that standard, traditional, uh, regular stock, whether it's wood or it's one of the polymer stocks or the overmold stocks by Hogue, uh, which are comfortable. But if you're really wanting to get that pinpoint accuracy and you want to get very comfortable behind the rifle, uh, putting on a stock like this can really change things because of the pistol grip, because of the adjustable buttstock, and, and then all the attachment points here for lights, lasers, uh, different things you want to put on here, plus you know, your bipod. Whether you go also with the 223, which I have here, uh, or you go with the 308, again, which I really love in the original stock set. Of course, as my good friend, the Russian hacker always says, safety is number one priority. So we're going to double check, make sure the magazine's empty and the rifle's clear. Uh, the fit of the Remington 700 is just impeccable. I mean, it just fits perfectly in here. Uh, again, you can go and watch the installation video. Very simple to do. But AB Arms does offer the Remington Action already installed into the Mod X stock system. Um, we're using some of the ACIS uh, compatible stocks as Accuracy International. Um, they have their um, different polymer magazines, and this fits just perfectly in here, whether you get the 223, which I have here, or the 308. The magazine goes in really easily, slides right in. They're, the magazine release is right here at the front of your trigger guard, just a small button. You can just depress, and it drops right out. Uh, didn't have any problems with this seating and staying seated. Just very, it's made just perfectly for these magazines. These are 10 round and uh, they are not included with the stock set, but they run $39.99 uh, for additional magazines. The body of the chassis is a milled receiver. Uh, it's a hard anodized type 3 finish, really black, and uh, this has been CNC machined, so it allows for the Remington action to fit down because this is so consistent. Uh, with the large trigger guard, of course, gloved hands work fine. With the original Gen 1, uh, I had to do some fitting to set in my Timney trigger, but with the new Gen 3, they've made room for any of your aftermarket triggers, which makes it nice. But I want to go ahead and tell you, it's only available in right-hand configuration. Uh, they may be producing in a left-handed configuration, but so far, right is all you've got. The free float handguard is aluminum, has key mod, points all along the 6, 3, and 9 o'clock positions, but you also have Geisley slots that cut through here and on the other side to be able to fit Geisley mounts. 
Of course the Picatinny rail all along the top and you have your scope mount back here and this is a zero MOA scope mount. Uh, you can also get this in a 20 MOA uh, according to the scope and how you want to set it up. We were using the primary arms 4x14 R grid scope. Uh, the reticle system in here is just phenomenal. Uh, it really sets up for really long range shooting uh, for windage and spin drift. Uh, we were shooting thousand yard targets with one of these on a 308 and uh, able to calculate that shot with no problem. It's also a first focal plane scope, so you have the advantage of first focal plane over second focal plane. Now I have one of the Wheaton Arms deployment comps on here, uh, which of course tames recoil, makes it really nice, but you know, you can put a suppressor on this rifle as well. Uh, we do have one of the bipods, and I have one of the LaRue tactical mounts here, but you can get different mounts to be able to attach your bipod. I believe this is a Blackhawk bipod. I do this and I use a lot of Harris bipods as well. But it really stabilizes the front end of the rifle. The pistol grip is compatible with any A2 style pistol grips. This is one of the SBR pistol grips from AB Arms. Very thin, very small. Uh, but I found that it really works well with this rifle. But again, you can change this out to whatever you want to. Now included is one of the Urban Assault stocks from AB Arms as well. Uh, it has, of course, adjustable comb and adjustable length of pull. So it just kind of snaps out, locks in, but it pops out to do wherever, however, whatever's comfortable for you. And that's what I love about this stock. I mean, once you get this thing set up, you can just fit it to your body. It's like a natural part of your body. Uh, the, the comb uh, adjusts here so you can get your cheek into the proper position. Um, there are QD points on both sides and there is a Picatinny rail underneath to be able to put a monopod if you want to set this up. And this actually uses a standard AR-15 buffer tube. Uh, you can go with mil spec or with commercial uh, with the castle nut. And they do offer a folding stock adapter. Uh, and the stock can come as a folding stock, stock model, uh, which you know you can just take and move this around. It makes this package really compact. And then here's a view of the other side, and you can see just how well this mates uh, with the Remington receiver. And of course, made in USA with the American flag. We're using the Federal Match King 69 grain boat tail hollow points, and uh, this is really precision stuff. Let's see if I can do any good at 100 yards with it. I want to thank Federal Premium for sending the ammo because it's really a big help to really test these out. Now we started out at about 25 yards just sighting in the scope, getting a feel for the rifle. Uh, I had had some experience, quite a bit of experience, but it had been a little while since I've taken this rifle out to the range. Um, my good friend Rodney from the NC Hill Channel joined me and uh, he is left-handed. Uh, these rifles only come in right-hand configuration, but of course he was still able to manipulate the action without any trouble. So then a few days later went out to the range shooting at the 100 yard range. Uh, again checking my accuracy, getting behind the scope, just feeling how it reacted. And that's really important when it comes to a precision rifle because you really want to feel comfortable. It needs to have a very natural feel to it. Then we start shooting steel from one, two, and 300 yards. Uh, and I'll tell you what guys, I was really excited, uh, you know, hitting that steel with ease.
property. You've got a 223, uh, this 4x14 primary arm scope, you know, it just does fantastic. But uh, shooting pretty rapidly, uh, not necessarily trying for groups out to 300 yards, which would be a nice test to do and something we may do a little bit later. Uh, but this rifle, you know, the Remington rifle is the action. The chassis, it just houses that action. So no matter how great this stock is, if you don't have an accurate action in here, you know, that's gonna affect accuracy as much as anything. But this gave me the best chance to do as well as I could with this setup. I had no problems with magazines. The bolt, of course, was not impeded by anything on the stock. And just overall, once you get behind this stock when it's set up, it just feels like home. We're using the Federal 69 grain Match King Boattail Hollow Point. This stuff is really excellent ammunition. Um, I'm just going to show you a lot of the best groups that I did. There were some that were, you know, here and there, but all of them seemed to be within no over about an inch and a quarter. Uh, here, this little group, and this is a five shot group, it's at three quarters of an inch, and that's at 100 yards. Here were some other groups that were just really incredible. I mean, this one was a half inch. I was honestly shocked at that one. That's a three inch group. I mean, that's a three round group right there. Same thing. Uh, and guys, I'm not some kind of bench rest shooter, but I do shoot a lot. <laughs> so just out of that, I, I tend to, you know, I'm getting better and better. But this is the kind of stuff you can sit down at the bench, relax, get behind that scope, and you can really achieve really great accuracy. And if you want to see one of my other groups, here you go. This is <laughs> this is one that I shot right before that one, and it's all over the place. So um, I'm not, I don't claim to be the world's best, but sometimes I get lucky. Now, obviously, it's just a really beautiful, tactical-looking stock. Uh, and, you know, t the word tactical, of course, is used a lot. But really, when you're talking about tactical, uh, it's very ergonomic. Uh, it's great for whatever mission you're looking for. Uh, if you're wanting long-range precision, you've got it. If you want something more of a, an urban sniper setup, uh, you've got that. And of course, any sniper situation. Uh, this would be great for law enforcement. Now, we took the gun out a number of times to the range, and um, I'm going to tell you guys, it just really shot well. Now, of course, we have the Remington action in here, so the accuracy is up to the Remington, but it fits really well into this system and keeps it free float, so there's no interference with the barrel. And I'll tell you what, guys, it really makes for a fun day at the range. Now, you can buy the Urban Assault stock separately. If you want to attach it to a rifle that has a buffer tube, you can also get the SBR grip separately uh, on the AB Arms website. And it also comes in a Howell short action model, and they also do one of the Weatherby Vanguard models. And you can look at the AB Arms website uh, to see what specs they have for those. So the Mod X Gen 3 chassis runs $799. If you get the folding stock model, it's $849. Some guys are going, man, $800 for a stock. Well, if you start pricing uh, different stocks that are really modular and custom made like these are, uh, you're talking about sometimes two, three thousand dollars $3,000. And one of the other things is you end up having to wait uh, for them to, to ship it. A lot of times they're back ordered and they're behind. That's one of the things about AB Arms. They try to keep these in stock at all times. These have just been fantastic. In fact, I was just looking over some of the reviews on the website and it's five star all the way down. For $7.99, if you're really wanting to get serious about precision, uh, to me, this is one of the most economical ways to go. Uh, with all the features that it has, how ergonomic it is, uh, you know, to me, it's just a great way to really find out how good of a shooter you are and then to improve. So the guys at AB Arms got in touch and they're given a 20% discount using Such Mod X uh, when you check out. And that's quite a bit of savings and I really appreciate the guys at AB Arms for offering that. So you can go to abarms.com, check out all the different specs of the Mod X Gen 3 stocks. Uh, also, they do make a lot of parts for the AR-15. And so it's great to see a good solid American company run by veterans and making really high quality products. And so I want to thank AB Arms for sending this stock for the review and the test and evaluation. Um, it's really great to be able to get some of these things out for you guys to check out. But not only you to check it out, but also for me to have a great range day. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic.
add really tightened up the accuracy this is though uh, in here I have a 700 it's, I'm just blah 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 regular gen well he wants to come down here and turn around but you can but AB Arms offers but AB Arms does offer really uh, really set up to get very very AB Arms, American Boss Arms.